it is all at the mall. Huntsville Place Mall. Putting some fizzle in your dizzle, faux shizzle. This is the Saturday Night Grind on Hunter's Bay Radio. One, two, three, and ten, five, four. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door. Boom. We're back again, Tension the Stress on Hunters Bay Radio, the Saturday Night Grind. We're just killing it here with Admiral Crumple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, so we're listening to a few of your tracks off the new stuff, some old stuff. I, I'm mixing it up, songs that I like. Um, but let everybody know, I mean, how is your album doing? I know the album just dropped. I haven't I haven't got it yet. I got to get it. Um and and it, and what's coming up? Do you have shows? Do you promote it like that? Yeah, it's it's cool. Like, cause like my new album, like the first week, I kind of got disappointed because I thought it didn't sell a lot because I, I have it on like different retailers. And then it's like one day after the first week, I went to undergroundhiphop.com and I noticed it was all sold out. So I was like really excited about that, but I, I didn't know what the deal was. So I I uh sent an email to Quest, the owner of undergroundhiphop.com, and he was like, yo, Crumple, man, we, we just sold out, like, all the copies, and then he actually ordered, like, a big amount of copies from me, like, right after that, and it's like, I was, it was actually, like, my biggest selling week uh, so far, and I mean, I was just really proud of that, because... I mean, they sold well the first week, and they continue to sell, like, on iTunes and stuff. I, I'm pretty much, like, out of all physical copies. And it's, like, all my stuff is kind of, like, like rare in a sense. It's, like, if you got a crumple CD, it's almost, like, that's dope. Because I don't, you know what I mean? It's almost, like, when when the physical sell out, that's cause then I just keep it digital. But I may repress things, like, press them up again. But the whole thing is, is like, I just feel really accomplished because... And uh, people can't get it. Like, whoever puts out a CD, like an actual CD that's out, and, and, and they see it sell a lot, those people know what I'm talking about. You know what yeah. I mean? But, like, some random people, they'll be like, oh, yeah, la, la, la. But, I mean, whoever even completes a CD, they know the deal. And that's just, like, one part. Now, to, to sell it well and to, like, gain more fans, like, that, and that's exactly what happens. So it's kind of like... All my hard work paid off, and I'm just kind of like reaping the rewards. And like, I mean, I'm That's really grateful. Like, you're interviewing me, and then like, I got in Vice magazine and so on. So it's like I hustled. It's like you reap what you sow, right? So it's kind of like yeah, you gotta work. You gotta work to get it back. It doesn't come easy. Yeah, you know what I mean. This isn't. The, everybody wants to be a professional athlete, a rapper, a musician, an actor, something that they think is going to be easy. Like that's the easy life. That's you know, people are living the dream. It seems so easy. Yeah. That's wrong. People like us are working really, really hard every goddamn day. We do not rest, yeah. you know? Yeah, and it's, it's kind of like, I look at rap, like Necro once said. He said, uh, <laughs> rap is like, uh, rap is like a, um, a martial art, right? Yeah. And, and that's what it is. And yeah, yeah, I've seen I've seen funny posts about you on Necro's page. That's, <laughs> I mean, but that's just recognition in itself, anyways, right? He's, he's yeah. I wanted to say something about that. Like somebody put an interview, like where Necro's saying something. He's like all crumple, this that. Like, <laughs> yeah, he, he says something on YouTube. But like, I have there's nothing, there's no beef. I guess there's no beef with Crumple and Necro. It's nothing. I respect him, and yeah. he knows who I am. Because, like, I, I, like, what happened with that video, that was just, like, a chat room thing, and I was asking some questions, and I, I was being, an, like, I may have been annoying then, so that's on me, and, like, that's my fault. Like, that's what it is. Like, yeah, it's, I, I it's asked, funny, I'm though. Like, I, 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 I was at somebody's house, and, like, people kept asking me to ask him stuff, so maybe I overdid, and he was like, oh, like, what the deal, crumple all that. But then, um, that's all it is. But then, like, some, some, somebody, like, put it up on YouTube and they, they're trying to make something out of it. But they, they need to know that. It's like, I used to promote for Necro in, like, 2001. And, like, I used to get flyers from him. And I put on so many people in Toronto to Necro. And, and in exchange for me, like, hardcore, like, promoting him, like, I, like, one side of the blue, I would ask him a question about the music industry and he would help me out. And even recently, after that video happened, after that they put that video, um, 
I, I asked somebody, I had a question about the industry and nobody, none of my, these people that I know in my circle would help me out. It was like something, some important question about touring and touring overseas. And, and then when I asked Necro, he totally helped me out. He was on point and everything. And people need to understand it's like, Everyone thinks he's all gore or like like hardcore, and he is. He's grimy. He's Necro's a street dude, and he's on point. But people also gotta realize he's a he's an on point dude. Like he's a good character. Like he achieved a lot, and um, no, like he he's he's somebody to be respected. And honestly, even if he disrespected me, I still could not diss Necro back. I would never disrespect him because. Part of the reason why I rap is I saw him, I saw him kind of like put it all together. And the thing is, is like, I was always into hip hop. Like I listened to Run DMC when I was a kid. I was to yeah. like fresh. But seeing people like Eminem and Cage and Necro, and especially Necro, and it's like, that's, it's like my hat's off to him. I have nothing but love for him, and he knows who I am. I'm not saying he's a fan of my music. He, you know what I mean? And I, I, I don't even want him to be a fan of my music because if, if he was, if he really liked my music, that means that, like, where do I go from there? Like, I'd rather that I have to work so much harder to impress him and really impress someone like him because I, I respect him musically. So on that note, I just want to say, like, it's nothing, man, and it's just like people need to like stop getting into like fake internet drama and understand the truth. And that I have nothing but love and respect for Necro, and I'm telling everyone go and buy his records and make sure to support the Cool G Rap Necro album when it comes out. Yeah, who? You'd be crazy not to support that. I mean, Cool G yeah. Rap and Necro are icons in in rap. You know. Of course. So, um, I mean, let's keep it rolling. I'm going to play some more Crumple. Uh, what do you want to tell people? What's coming up for you in the future? What should they look out yeah, for? Right now, What's your just, Facebook pages? Like, I haven't released, an, um, I didn't release like a, uh, like an album release for 2013 yet, but I'm working on stuff. I have like maybe four songs already recorded, but um I have some other things to take care of in my life. Like rap isn't the only thing in my life, and I'm 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 kind of like doing doing some really important and exciting things, and kind of like exciting projects other than rap in my life that I'm excited about. Because it's like not like life is a balance to me, so it's kind of like I have some really like. I have this task that I'm, I'm excited about, but I, 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 it's like more of like a personal thing, and that I'm going to be busy with that for 2013. But I'm going to try to put out an album, but it is what it is. But it's kind of like I'm just going to like record and do my thing, but I'm going to see what's up. I'm always recording, and like I plan to make over 30 new beats by whatever August. But it's like I already have the 30 samples I'm working with, and like if if because you know what I mean, it's like. It's almost like I'm gonna be caught up in this other important project, and it's like releasing an album is, is hard, is, is, you need time for it. So it's like, if I can do it, I'll do it and release a new crumple album if it drops correctly and properly. But I'm not into dropping albums like people wanna friggin' put like a MP3 album out. Like, I'm not about that. Like, it's gotta be, it has to have money behind it, it has to have a lot of, lot of things behind it, so it can sell. It can make my fans happy and um, get me more fans and, and build my fan base. That's that's what it's all about. All right. Word, man. Um, yeah. Mad respect for everything you're doing. You're doing a big for the hip-hop community, too. Um, you're putting out lots of albums. I can't do that. I could never dream of putting out an album a year, even. It takes me, like, three years to do an album. Um, just because of what you said. A lot of stuff in life. But... Uh, so let's get let's get the people listening to more crumple right now. Thanks for being on the show. Um, no doubt. Uh, all right, everything's yeah, love. I would just like to say thanks, thanks for uh, linking up the interview. I appreciate it, and that's about it. And I mean, I just want to tell people like there's really a lot of special music being made, like authentic, independent hip hop. And I want people to go out and if you're a fan of an artist, go out and buy it and support them. And for everyone. Yeah, that's what's up. And because it's a beautiful thing, creating music. Yeah, word. All right. All right. 
Let's get it rolling. We got uh, the cool Keith track, Energy coming up, Cage in this, the glass vials, and space monsters. Here we go.